and welcome back to the next video in the series of painting a mariposa skies bearded iris. Um, what we're going to be doing is painting the upper petals. Um, so these are the, there's a second petal that's towards the back of this iris. Um, and you're going to be using, again, a lot more of the titanium white and just tinning it with a little bit of the diazinon purple in areas where it would be deepest or behind the other petals to suggest um, uh, parts of the petal that are more in shadow. Um, I won't be talking a lot over this video because it's just going to be basically repeating um, what was in the um, first series of painting the upper petals. So again, you're going to be using higher concentrations of the titanium white, um, mixing with the dioxinating purple and the ultramarine blue. Um, and again, the parts of the petal that will be up towards the receiving the brightest concentration of light, you'll be using more of just the straight titanium white um, to show that that area would be above uh, and hit, I guess receiving the light is what I want to say um, on that upper petal. And you're just going to continue working the um, upper petals the same way you did the petal on the right. Now, once I get to the petal that's all the way on the left, you'll see that I actually used a lot more of the dioxinine purple um, with the titanium white. And the reason I did that, um, I think it makes your, your botanical paintings appear a little bit more realistic when you have uh, variations of colors um, in your leaf petals. If you make them all the exact same, it's not as interesting to the eye. Um, so you can see this has this vein of the left petal has a lot more of the purple in it um, mixed with the white. So versus the petal that's on the right where I used a lot more of the ultramarine blue. So and you, same process as before. Um, it's always the darker concentration is towards the bottom where the petal would have a lot more shadow. Um, and as you move up towards the upper portion of the petal, your colors get lighter and lighter. Which was how they would be, it's how they would be um, with the sunlight bouncing off of them or the brighter light bouncing off of them. You want to give that appearance of it having sort of a 3D um, or dimension or rounded effect. And in this last series, uh, the last video, what I'll be doing is showing you how I paint the leaves and the stems. So I'm going to let you just sort of watch the video. And please, if you have any questions on what I'm doing, why I'm doing what I'm doing, please drop them um, in the comment section. And I will come back and answer any and all of your questions that you have. Thank you so much for watching.